you're right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, hey? Hey, gorgeous. Yes, we are. It's absolutely not what I expected at all. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a rest here. We're going to have a little bit of a rest here. We're going to I know all this motor engine talk is very exciting, but everybody needs to watch this. Good boy, gentle. Oh, good job. You're so clever. Sit. Good boy, gentle. Oh, good job. So smart. Ends up here cleaning his stuff. The babies are playing. Baby. She's oh, getting lucky tonight. And it's a beautiful sunset today. Middle of winter. Amazing. And the children are playing. As soon as the weather's good, we're heading that way. <laughs> Out to Tunisia. What are you doing? Okay. I've got corona. Mm, this is what commitment looks like. Who needs a wedding ring when you have somebody who can feed you pizza? Oh. Cool. What are you doing, you silly? God, it is chaos. Jackson's doing happy laps. Finn's <laughs> come back. Hi, mister. This is my version of Turkish pizza. <laughs> when we were in Turkey, they had lamajon and stuff and Turkish pizza and they used to put onion and rocket on it. So while in Italy, doing my Italian twist. <laughs> what are you doing with that lamp on your head? <laughs> it's dark in the bedroom. Replace the water pump. I'm cleaning out the salt water pipes and the salt water part of the engine. I'm cleaning it all out. And then I'm cleaning out the coolant area. We're gonna flush out a few times with distilled water and then put new coolant in. Boom, bam, shabam, all good. Basically doing a 5,000 hour service plus more of a thousand hours. So this engine better give us no hassles for like another five years, I tell you what. Apparently Ryan has royally f***ed up. So we're meant to be leaving in a few days if we're allowed if there's no lockdowns, right? So this is the Seacock for the stern tube. As you remember in Greece, we replaced all our seacocks with True Design. And this was the only one we didn't replace because I was gonna do another video on it next time I lift out on replacing this one. And um, as you can see, it's obviously a lot worse looking now than what it was before we decided to not replace it. I'm replacing all these hoses here and I just slightly knocked this uh, tube here and it snapped off. Yeah, see it's all corroded. Mm -hmm. So that bit there is all corroded and it snapped off of there. But I've got, if I put this below the water line, water will just pour out. So I've got to, we're gonna have to take this up somehow. So now that won't sink the boat, but that will leak overnight and go into our bilge completely. Some tape on it there. And then we'll wrap some tape. Can you call it a night now since it's dark and you shouldn't be doing this stuff? Yeah. Uh, good morning. I just got woken up because Brittany got up. <laughs> I had a heavy night of drinking beer on our friend's boat, Wild Odyssey. And I'm sleeping on the couch right now with Jackson. Hey, buddy. Because Brittany got up and the little puppy ran up and me and Jackson were laying there on the bed having a good little cuddle. And the puppy jumped up onto the bed and got excited pissed everywhere. So me and Jackson moved to the couch. So it's Sunday today, we're gonna do a video today. We overstayed our visa here in Italy, our Schengen visa, we've overstayed. But if I put the camera outside, it's blowing about 30, 40 knots out there. The swell's pretty bad and it's gonna get worse overnight. So we actually can't really leave in this weather. But I'm thinking that what we might do is check out and then just sit here until the weather's good, which is generally what you normally do and generally what they allow. So you should have any problems. Hey, Raya. Hey, did you just piss on the bed? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Did he pee on the bed, buddy? Yeah, I know, you're not very happy either, are you? Yeah, you just peed everywhere. Yeah, I know, don't do it again. 
Yeah, I'm talking to you. I know, I know you say we broke up a bit abrupt, didn't we? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan's a bit of a stress head this morning. Actually, this whole month. Italy has a state of emergency and all visas have been extended. So even though ours was up a month ago, we can stay for that extra month. Uh, the weather for this four week straight has been blowing like 20, 30, 40 knots out there. And when I say 20, that's like 40 knot gusts. When I say 40, that's like 45, 50 knot gusts. Or whatever. <laughs> we just got into a two week lockdown. So we haven't been able to go out and get COVID tests. We haven't been able to go out and get parts for the boat. The engine's still in pieces and we got to check out today. So. We're a bit concerned. So Ryan's gonna go check out today and hope for the best there. We can start getting ready to head to Tunisia. It looks like in a couple of days there's a little bit of a weather window, but it'll be a rush to get the boat organized for that. While we're on the topic, this little man is going to the shelter today. I'm gonna be a mess. Aren't you? You cheeky little monkey, you're going to the shelter today. Hopefully they put you with some friends, you can have a nice play. And Jackson, you'll have the boat back to yourself and they only have your brother to beat you up, not puppies. Although stay tuned because I've been speaking to a rescue over in Tunisia. I think we're gonna have our work cut out for us over there. And a new country to explore. I'm excited to explore a new country. And we gotta get this boat back in order. It's been a friggin' tool shop for the past Lord knows how long. Now I'm just waiting for Antonio to message me to come pick up the baby. Oh no, I hope he come when I'm gone. I think he will. Going to be very sad, but it's time. I already cried a couple times, just warning everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go check it out. But you gonna the, go try and check yeah. it out? Well, the police are closed. Oh. Make sure you take that two off so they don't think you're a hoodlum. I'll take the two off now and be like, hello little girl. <laughs> All right. Time to take the baby. I'm not gonna take the camera because I'll probably be a mess, but I'll show you the scene of me when I get back. All gone. So shelter came and picked him up. They'll take really good care of him until he's ready to go to his new home. I just need to get better at doing this. <laughs> it was really amazing to watch him change. It took a lot to get him there. Anyways, I need to wash my hair. I didn't get to see the puppy leave, which is probably a good thing because it's really sad seeing him go. But then you see him like a few weeks later in the new home and you're really happy and thankful that they've gone. So the weather's not on our favour to leave and our visa, we've overstayed our visa. So I went to the Coast Guard to sort it out. There's a lot of grey areas, there's a lot of red tape, there's a lot of forms you've got to fill out and stuff like that. But he's made it really easy and he's basically said, we've set an emergency, don't worry about it, we'll look after you, we'll make sure you leave safely and you arrive in Tunisia. And I said, thanks mate. So that's exactly how it's going. I think there's a lot of good people out there that are being humane and looking out for us all, hey? And this Coast Guard certainly is. So congrats to the Coast Guard here. You just said we'll wait for a good weather window. There is one on Wednesday, but it's very short and that can change. So I don't think we're gonna live on Wednesday now. Mike said he walked you and you were really good. Mike's been training Jackson with us and we've been really working hard with him. Mike said he walked him off lead the other day and he was just like And Jackson came back and walked to his side and he let him go and he caught him back. And he came back and sat on the side. Hey, has mum gave you breakfast? Oh, hello. Oh, you got me in the nuts. This is spot, eh? This is like he thinks we're going. You think we're going somewhere, don't you? You're a little spot. Ryan's very excited. So if you guys watch our last video, we just pulled apart the motor. We just rebuilt the whole the water pump and we pulled apart the engine and did all the checks on that and cleaned out the heat exchanger, all that kind of stuff. Now we're going to start it for the first time, which is pretty cool. Just got distilled water in there now. So I'm going to run it for about 20 minutes. Then we'll turn it off and then we'll drain out the distilled water and then we'll fill it up with proper Yanmar engine coolant. This is like when I talk about food and cooking and Ryan gets like, oh, it's not that entertaining. Well, here we go. This is the equivalent of me talking about shopping or cooking. For Ryan. Can you open up the engine seacock? I forgot to open it. <laughs> that was lucky, huh? Would have ran our new water pump dry. Do you reckon it's gonna work? Well, I friggin' hope so. If it explodes, am I gonna be okay down here? It's alive! It's alive! I now officially did my first engine service rebuild thing. When you do things yourself, you go overboard, and I think I went overboard cleaning things, but like now I know things are gonna be good for like years to come, and I'm confident in the motor. So do you have to leave it running now? Yeah, so I'll leave it running for about 15 minutes, and then I'll run it again for another 20 minutes. You know what, it's pretty good for a guy that didn't even know how to turn his boat on two years ago. <laughs> oh, I know, everybody upset again. Yeah. Ugh, 
also Francesca from the shelter just sent us a message and our puppy's really scared at the shelter. He's really not doing well and he's hurtled up in a corner snapping at Barbara when he, she tries to touch him. Poor little thing. He was getting picked up today because we overstayed our visa today. If he had to leave, we would have had like to give him back. So we were trying to plan it that way. This is what happens from the boat to the stars. This is not a need to do. Sorry, Brittany. Antonio told me that uh, uh, you are leaving in a few days. No problem, puppy. Uh, we stay at shelter. Okay. I kind of want to bring him back here. Tell him to bring him back. Better be quick because they're going to be coming back now. Now we're making a decision, I guess, to stay until this puppy's safe, hey? Today's been quite the roller coaster. It's not fair to him to be put in that situation if he's not going to thrive there. He's done so well here that it's kind of heartbreaking to see the video of him like that over there. So we're going to stay. This is how crazy things change. We're literally supposed to be getting ready to leave, but we're not in a rush. The only thing that we were worried about was our visas and we've been told that's okay. So Francesca is picking me up at eight after she's done work and we're going up to the shelter to get the baby back. I'm ready to go get him now. I feel sad that he's there right now in the dark, scared as it is. So we're gonna go get him. It's really upsetting me to see him kind of go backwards. Ryan's just added more coolant into the engine, so he's running it again for 30 seconds. Then we're heading up to the shelter to go get the puppy. I come get you. Hi, baby. Hi, yeah. baby. <laughs> okay. I know, honey. Oh, poor thing. I know. <laughs> you come out? Oh, no, I feel bad for the other two. Okay. Hi, baby. Oh, it's I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the poor little baby. Do you let him run around? No, not yet. He's scared. You're right, buddy. Oh, he's so happy. Hi, baby. What was all that about, huh? Where do you think you're going? We got you on camera here. I was speaking to Rick and Lou on Salacious Star. You're right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, hey? Hey, gorgeous. Yes, we are. There's a delay, so it's like over at the end, so we get time to catch up. I got to get you over. Oh, of course, I forgot. Sorry. We understand. Over. <laughs> we have 15, 15 knots of wind, and we're going to be That sounds incredible. We've got about 40 knots of wind here at the marina. Over. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely not what I expected at all. And are you heading to Tunisia or what, where are you off to? Over. Yes, we're going to go to Tunisia. Salacious stars has <laughs> called us from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That's you always have the right things to on say, their Iridium go. Over. And Jackson's eyeing out my dinner. All right, we're going to talk to Rick and Lou. You're a good boy, Jackson. Yes. You're a good boy. <laughs> We're gonna go with Mike 
for a walk. Mike used to train like military dogs and stuff. So we've had a problem with Jackson. He's been barking at other dogs. It's starting to get a bit more, not aggressive, but it comes across aggressive and it's not really good. So we've been working on him and, um, and he's improved so much, but he still barks at other dogs. Now when he's with Mike, he's perfect. His Mike's got him wrapped around his little finger. <laughs> <laughs> with me, I got like, I guess, four years of, of him dominating me. Hey, buddy, is that right? You think that you're King Dick, don't you? Jackson, what is this place here? Oh, oh wow, Jackson. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're all right, mate. Doing happy laps, eh? <laughs> Mike's got Jackson under control. <laughs> what do you say when he's being bad? You're gonna take him to the uh, glue factory. The glue factory. Why? Why? Ah. He was just starting to run in circles and getting more and more out of control. Yeah, yeah. And what it does is that makes you focus your attention on him because he starts to lose it. So you have to just get him back to this stage yeah. where he focuses on what you want. Head back, buddy. Hey. <laughs> um, but you just got the vet here. Fat. <laughs> yeah. Fatty. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. What is that? Good job. Oh, you're very good, aren't yeah. you? Yes, you are. Clever. The dogs are good, yeah. it's just the cat. I'm still bloody uh, healing from the cat. Here you go, buddy. That was for Jackson. 